In today's video, I'm building a house inside of the number eight. So behind me, I've already drawn the outline of the number eight. And as you can see, the shape is pretty wild. So I think it's going to be quite a fun challenge to try and build a house inside of here. But yeah, let's just jump in. So we obviously need to start off by putting the walls down. And I think this is going to give us a better understanding of actually how much space we have here. All right. Okay. I feel like now we've put the walls down. It actually looks a little bit bigger. And the theme of this house is actually going to be modern contemporary. So we should probably start by putting the doors in and it makes sense to me to have the doors here and I wonder if we get rid of this wall in the middle actually we could have like a rather big maybe kitchen area there and my plan is to have all the rooms like inside the eight and then in these circle bits maybe have like gardens but now we should probably do the outlines of the rooms so I think we should have the entryway obviously in this front bit okay so what I'm thinking for the first eight a corridor here with the dining room kitchen and living room and then on this side we have a little office then back here past the kitchen is where the bedrooms can be. So we can have a bedroom each side and they can have their own bathroom as well. Enough planning, let's actually get building. So like I said, the style is going to be modern contemporary. So we could have some of these big windows out the front. And to be honest, we could probably put quite a few of these around the sides to let a little bit of light in. But I don't want to be completely basic using those windows everywhere. So we can get a little bit more creative for the bedrooms maybe. And we can make some custom windows like that. Now we can finally start decorating. So I'm going to start off with the entryway because that makes sense. I think I want the walls to be pretty bright in this room. And then to contrast it with the wall trims, I'm going to put fossil and then I'm going to make it a wood grain texture. And as you can see, that makes quite a nice looking wall. Then doors, I think I'm going to use the traditional modern reveal doors. Then we might as well have the doors into the garden here as well. And now I'm going to add some tables in. So if we look up modern, the hairpin table set is probably the best especially if you give it the right coloring so let's grab this over here and decide what we're going to put on it i'm thinking maybe a little bit of fruit stay healthy in our eight home i don't even know what to call this should we just call it the eight house so i'm thinking some small square mirrors are definitely necessary here with some vanity lights on top of course and then on the other side i'm thinking we get some bookshelves out so i'm gonna make custom ones because i'm feeling i'm feeling extra and then you can basically put whatever you want on here i like to put some ordered plain books and a little tip for when doing bookshelves to save money and a bit of time is to actually color all the stuff first. Then when you copy and paste them, you don't have to pay for coloring and you won't have to waste time going and coloring them all afterwards. So sort of a double whammy win. And then other things you can put on here is just some plants. And, and if you really want to, you can do what I'm doing and add some LED lights. Then as you walk in, I'm just gonna have this tiny little coffee table. Finally, we'll add a modern light. And I think that's good for the entryway. I'm really, really liking this room. So what way should we go next? Next, mm, I'm thinking to the office. For the walls in the office, I'm basically just going to flip what I did in the entrance. Just like a little contrast going on over here. We should have the desk over here. Then for the office chair, <gasps> I'm going to use this sophisticated one. And then because this is a fabulous looking house, we obviously need a fabulous looking computer. And I'm going to put a mug on here as well. So you can have a bit of coffee if you're working at the desk. Then not to be a copycat, but I'm just going to borrow these bookshelves from the other room. And this literally looks like we're in the future or something. We've just traveled to the year 3000, guys. I'm wondering if there's room for like a little meeting table. If we just use these standard modern chairs, give it a nice looking texture. Yeah, I don't think that looks too out of place there. We can then add another one of those dresses that I like to do. And then because it is an office, you're going to need your privacy in here. So we should add some of these lines. And I didn't realize how many windows were actually in this office. There is a lot. But yeah, with a last bit of decoration, I think that's good for the office. One extra thing that I've just remembered to add into the entryway is a hat stand and umbrella. This is like my classic thing I always add. I can't believe I forgot it. But anyway, now it's time to kind of move into the main house. So this here is actually just going to be a standard corridor. I'm thinking though, as we move into the main house, we get more of like a dark wood texture going on. I don't know. I'm just feeling like a little crazy switch up. Not much needs to go in here at all. We can fill up this space with the doors. We can maybe use a couple of these dresses that we had earlier. And then something that this house has been lacking is plants. So my favorite plants to use are these ones but these are absolutely excellent for filling up bare spaces. This room is the weirdest shape, but I'm wondering if we could put a carpet in. This is probably going to be where the shape of the house actually gets in the way. I think that's 
that's quite nice. This looks like a little cabin. And then something else we could actually put is like a space to sit. And I have no idea where this idea has come from, but I've just added like a little mirror area. And then I think that's it for this room. It is just a corridor after all. And now we're into main house territory. So if you remember, this here is going to be the dining room. And then here is going to be the kitchen. So we've got to make this awkward flooring like that. I'm feeling I want this room to be ultra modern. So we'll start off by doing the table and we'll probably only be able to get an average size one actually. You know what? We could kind of like make use of the shape and make the table like bend. Does that look crazy or does that look kind of cool with the house? But the only thing is I like to use big chairs. Do we have room? That is the question. I think we just about do. And that is one wild looking dining table. And I'm going to make it grey marble. And then the centerpiece can be like these three plant pots. I'm going to attempt to lay this table. This is probably going to be the hardest part of it all. <gasps> no. Okay. Backspace that. Placemats are not going to work for this table it looks like. Something else I wanted to add in this room was a fireplace. We might even be able to have two. Because how cool does that look? It's like a fish tank but fire. And I've just realized you're gonna have to like jump over the whole table to get there. But it's fine, okay? It's just one mistake. And then I want this room also to have some floor lamps. And my favorite modern ones are the hairpins. The only thing is they are brighter than the sun. You'll we'll have to make them a little bit darker. And I want the light over the dining table to be fancy. So I'm thinking we use three of these. And oh my gosh, why has it gone so bright in here? But to make it even more special, we can make it so the light looks like it's gradually falling down like a fairy. Now we are through to everyone's favorite favorite room, the kitchen. So in this room, I'm going to change the flooring up completely to like these dark gray stone wood, whatever you'd call it. And the only way we're actually going to be able to get to the bedrooms is through this one door gap here. But I think if we put pillars either side, it can fix it looking weird. And I want to go back to a simpler time in this kitchen and just do like what is this color? Light stone gray. So I'm starting it off how any normal kitchen would start off with some counters. And then I'm going to make use of the cabinets on the side so we can have these normal ones. I don't really think there's room to have a double oven in the middle because we obviously need some counter space. So it looks like we're just going to have ovens on the side today. And hang on a minute. I just accidentally painted these gray wood. Why does that look so good? Um, I'm immediately making that the texture of everything. That looks so good to me. Not to be too confident, but I do think that looks pretty nice. Then the next part is is islands. So I don't know how I'm going to do this actually. Maybe we could just do it a little something like that. We can maybe even just make this whole thing a kitchen because I was originally going to have like a little seating area. But I just don't think that's necessary when we can have space for all of these other appliances. For example, our good friend, the microwave. And this space here is perfect for like a bunch of frying pans. Don't tell me that does not look perfect there. Maybe we could even add a counter there and have this as like a coffee station. This house may be a crazy shape, but they are getting the luxuries in here. And for once, guys, it's actually a miracle. I've remembered a kitchen sink, and I'm going to attempt to keep the LED vibe going on in here. And like I said, because we can't have a full oven, we can only have these ones, I put a little, like, frying pan thing. So at least we can still, like, cook eggs and stuff. I'm also going to add some cylindrical pendants. Should we do stylish stool or formed metal stool or modern stool? I'm going to go for a modern stool. That looks really nice, actually. And petition for you to be able to put these spice racks on these cabinets. I don't know where I'm going to put this now. That is so sad. I wanted to use this. And I don't think there's quite room for a middle island. However, I'm thinking we could try something out by maybe having like the most thin island you've ever seen. We could put some plants on this. And does that look good? I actually think that looks kind of nice. And then I know exactly what to put underneath some of these frying pans and stuff. And that is the kitchen done. So now is the living room, which I've realized I've just completely blocked up with this kitchen. So sadly, we're gonna have to say goodbye to some of these. And then yeah, we can put a door in there. That actually looks kind of nice and secret and mysterious. I'm being crazy while building this house, but it's just fun. Like it's so different. I've never built a house, believe it or not, in the shape of an eight. So I'm gonna be going for an incredibly simple room in here. No joke. I'm gonna start off by obviously getting the TV stand. Of course, we're gonna get this infinity TV. TV, and we can put a matching little table next to it. We're definitely going to have to make a custom sofa in here. Like if we were to use a bunch of these, it just would waste the space. So I'm thinking we have an armchair that like stretches all along this room. We'll put a coffee table in the middle as well to separate the room up a little bit more. And we'll also put a remote because I always forget this, but remotes are literally the most important thing. Like what did we do before them? Like get up and press the TV buttons? No thanks. I'm pretty sure there's actually some 
tables that match this one. Yes, there is. And these are perfect for little lamp stands. We can make like a dual fireplace. And I think the only thing that we can really put here is some books because you need to be able to walk through. And then finally for this room, we're going to make use of the modern paintings again and just have three in a nice neat pattern. And that's the cozy living room done. And also, if we get a sneak peek, how cool is this looking? I mean, the garden looks a bit messed up, but we'll fix that later. And if you're wondering what this room is going to be, it's going to be like a little garden storage room. But yeah, now we have the two bedrooms and bathrooms. So I'm going to try and make the most of the space here. So if we put the doors there, so I'm going to make my bed sheets plaid and oh gosh, we have immediately got to fix these pillows. Let me work my magic. And what did we actually do before they added all these fun accessories for the beds? Like, did we actually just have those basic beds? And I found out the other day that you can resize this blanket and you can make it big and small. Don't know what you need that for, but it's helpful. And also I found out the other day that you can put computers on beds. So we're doing that. Anyway, the second most important part of a bedroom for me is the closet. And we're gonna make quite a nice one in here, I think. I'm gonna steal this mirror from that corridor room to put in our little closet area. Area, along with this sophisticated ottoman. And the good thing about being halfway through done with a house, you can just steal things from the other room. So I also want a desk, which we can literally just take from the office. Then I'll put some more paintings, maybe even my own little private bookshelf area. And yeah, that's my bedroom done. So now let's do my bathroom. And the good thing about the floor in the bathroom is we can just make it marble. What texture shall we do? I'm feeling like going for a crazy color. And you know, I haven't done a green bathroom in a while. So I might do one, you know? Now this area over here is perfect to me for like a shower. Why can't I put this here? Okay, apparently it's not let me put it that way. So we'll put it this way. But as I was saying, this looks perfect to me for a shower. Oh my gosh, wait, this is like the perfect shelf for this corner. On this, we can just put some toilet paper, which should probably mean that we have the toilet nearby, maybe here. And have I gone excessive with the toilet paper? Nah. What I was actually planning to over here was add a big shelf. I wonder, can we resize it? Oh, <gasps> no way you can actually do that. I was expecting it to say no. And then some bath products. Over here is the perfect place for a massive bath. Do I have a bath in my inventory? <gasps> I do, a luxury corner bath. Then we can basically just steal those shelves we used earlier for the bathtub. And I was like, what else can I add in here? But obviously, am I being silly? A sink. And yes, okay, that is that bathroom done. So all we have left to do now is the gardens and one more bedroom. So let me really quickly do this bedroom. It's basically gonna be the same. All right, as you can see, I've just finished the other bedroom. So now all we have to do is the little gardens. But to be honest, I'm really not too concerned about these at all. Like they don't need to be anything crazy special. So the exterior of the eight house can be this brick. And I think the perfect thing to go in the middle is a fountain, like hello. And honestly, this bedroom one could maybe be like a courtyard. So you literally just come out here to sit and watch the fountain. Then we can also have a fountain in this garden, but maybe some other stuff as well. So we could have like a little nature bit over here. Fence this off of a nice picket fence. We can have a nice little seating area over there. And I think it's fine to add another couple of benches. Then all we have is this tiny storage closet room. So in this room, you're gonna get exactly what it says on the can, just storage. So I'm gonna actually bring it out for a second. So we have a little bit more space. Then let's move this in. Oh my gosh, <laughs> everything just fell off. Lastly, we'll just put a little sink and a mirror. And that, guys, is the figure of eight house all done. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited to go inside this. Obviously, I've had to put a roof on, so it's like a real house. I messed it up a bit at the side, but we're gonna ignore that. So the first room is the entryway, which is actually a pretty nice room, considering it's just basically a space filler. But this room does give you direct access to our little courtyard, which this fountain has apparently got black water. Must be very dirty drains around here. And then in here is just a storage room. Then if we go left, instead at the entryway. Then we have our office, which is actually really nice. We get beautiful sunlight in here. We have a whole modernized workspace and even a little meeting area. However, if we go around the other way, this is basically the pathway to the main house. Let's have a moment of appreciation for this hallway. It looks amazing to me. And then through here is the dining room. So this is probably the most like cramped room. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's not a lot of space in here at all, but there is at least plenty of space at the dining table for all your guests. If you go through here, we have definitely 
my favourite room, the kitchen. This looks like it could be in a real house. You wouldn't even know you're inside a number. So we have a little island in the middle here. We have all our appliances and stuff. Over here's our little coffee station where we can make an espresso. Through here is a little secret room. Well, not really. It's our lounge. So we have a double fireplace in here. Pretty cool. We have a massive sofa. And of course, the most important part, the TV. In here is bedroom one of two. So there is two bedrooms. So we can actually call it a family home. And this one is probably the simpler of the two. They look kind of identical. Both have access to this other courtyard area and ensuite bathroom. So, and this one actually has a whole hot tub. So four people can get in here. And then on the other side is probably the better bedroom. You get your own massive personal closet, a better desk and a lovely big bed. And this bathroom is also a little bit better. And again, a massive bathtub. That's a common theme in this house. But there we have it. That was me building a house inside of the number eight. Hopefully you guys liked this video. Make sure to hit subscribe if you did. Thank you all so much for watching this and I'll see you all next time.